All right, so I have a piece of uh, uh, brass in the lathe. This was three quarters. I turned it down to uh, five eighths for the pistons, and um, so I got it laid out. I got a little groove cut in here for the oil uh, grooves there. And I got a drillless three eighths of an inch uh, for seventeen thirty seconds deep, and then half inch uh, three sixteenths of an inch inch deep. So, uh, right, let's get started here. Alright, now I'll come back with the half inch and go three sixteenths. All right, so now we've got a uh, half inch drill bit and we'll go in uh, 3 sixteenths. Okay, we'll just part that off and uh, Make two more. Okay, so I got the um, I got all three pistons uh, uh, roughed out. Um, you know, we're basically done. Uh, I just got to uh, trim them all to the same height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a parallel up in here and. Um, Basically, use that as a stop, a depth stop on that, and um, I have my carriage stop set, and I'll just trim it off until I get to the carriage stop, and um, put the other pistons in and this way they'll all be the same height. I'm at the carriage stop now and I'll lock down the carriage and make my final pass. Alright, let's take a measurement on that and um Here we go, half towel. So I'm fine with that. All right, I'll do the other ones and uh, get them all done. All right, so I got the piston and the vise in the, in the mill here. Um, I located the edge of the top of the piston, moved the table uh, five sixteenths in, and that's the height of uh, where the wrist pin hole will get drilled. And I got my little uh, center locator here, and um, I just went ahead and located the center of the piston, and we'll lock the table down on that. We'll get that started with a center drill, and uh, drill and ream that to a 332nd. 
as soon as I get this out of here. And we'll start with that baby center drill. All right, two more to do. 